Because propositions can get um, complicated, we often use variables to represent the proposition. So I have three propositions written up here. Sally is a student, Sally likes cheese, and George is a teacher. Uh, we often want to take these propositions and combine them with other statements to make more interesting statements. For example, Sally is a student and Sally likes cheese. Um, this would be something we could commonly see. Or uh, George is a teacher or Sally likes cheese. Now, to save us time from having to write all of these out, we use variables to represent them. So we could use a variable, and again, with variables, we tend to use lowercase letters in conventions. So I might say that P, uh, the variable P, represents the proposition Sally is a student. The variable Q represents Sally likes cheese, and the variable R represents George is a teacher. Now what we can do is we can use these simple propositions and combine them together to create more interesting propositions. So we can say P and R. So Sally is a student and George is a teacher. Now to make our lives even a little bit easier, we actually have uh, simplified symbolic logic um, to represent the, the basic conjunctions that we have for these propositional statements. So for and, we can write the, uh, the little caret symbol, and the caret symbol means and. If we want to use a statement like or, if we want to say P or Q, we actually use the upside down of the and, kind of a, a little V, so we can say P or Q. Um, and the other basic symbol that we can use is not. So if we want to say not um, R, so if we want to say George is not a teacher, we can represent that symbolically using this little tilde before the variable that we use. So tilde R means George is not a teacher. In this way, we can combine any number of these statements. In fact, we can also use one more operator, and it's a parenthesis. So we can say P and Q or R. So this statement, what it means, is Sally is a student and Sally likes cheese or George is a teacher. 